What is up guys, it's Nick. We are back, and surprisingly, I have a light over there that I use, but for some reason the lighting today in my room is perfect. I don't even have to have it on, which makes me happy. So we are back with the ninja. We're level 26, and we have this unreliable comrades quest to complete. I'm going to be popping this 10% extra experience, or 100% extra experience scroll, because we're going to be farming nagas today. We're going to take a look at the skills that we have to unlock right now. Um, I have not taken a look at these yet, so I'll get a first look at these with you guys. So these are the, the uh, part twos of stuff that we already have. Fatal Blow 3, which I actually have been using a little bit. Brace 2, which is decent but not great. Flow. Um, I'm going to pick this up. So we have 63 points. So this is only seven. So I'm going to pick this up and show you why. So we'll grab that too, because that means I'm going to have to use this more. So it's like a double. I mean, it has a cooldown, but it's like a double off of this. You do that initial stab and then you do a second stab after it. And it's really quick, which is what I really like. So let's try it out on an enemy real quick. Let's see. I need an actual enemy. Come here, Swamp Naga. Okay. So you do that, and then you plunge it straight into them again. It's not all that huge at this point of the game, but later on when enemies are taking more damage and they're stronger enemies, um, I think it'll be much more useful. Uh, but I wanted to pick it up now, because I have been using that skill enough. Crescent Slash. Really? I need to pick up Crescent Slash because it's one that I actually use a lot. Um, I've been really liking that. There's another skill, this one right here. Actually, no, not that. Not that. What, what's the button combo for it? Hold on. There it is. It's forward. It's forward and LTRB. I forgot what it was. Um, but that's what I've been using. It does this, like, explosive attack forward. And so... If you let it cool down, it'll do it as the first attack instead of part of that combo, which I really like. It's got a little bit of a cooldown, but I do really like that um, attack. I've been using that a ton. Uh, another option is the ninja step to close distance. I don't really love that, but uh, I'm going to pick up Crescent Slash 2. Uh, the kunai throws are nice, um, but... I don't think them and the shuriken throws are too big of a deal. They do help, I will say, a little bit within fighting. Uh, but this is one of the skills that I really wanted to pick up. It only requires three skill points to get. So I'm going to pick it up. Um, let's see. It's this right here. It's kind of a nice crowd control um, attack. If it cooldown would hurry up and get done. It not only does it back you up away from enemies, it does that quick slash, and you're ready to fight again. It's not a real long combo, and so I really do enjoy that as an option. Uh, those are so basic, I'm not going to mess with them. Smokescreen could be interesting, but more of a um, PvP skill than I need. The Concealment, also a really cool skill, but I don't really need that. The Heart Aiming... It looks like a cool one. We might be picking that up, but I'm not entirely sure. Suicide Fall is really cool. I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not sure it's really worth it for PvE, but it's a really cool attack. Um, so right now we're looking at these two skills as the ones that I want to pick up. Shadow Slash is always good. It's a skill that I use a lot because I, I move around a lot while I'm fighting. So that's also another thing that I'm considering. Foxclaw 2, I have to pick this up. I love this skill so much, so we have to pick that up. Ninjutsu Shadow Stomp. This is a pretty cool skill. Um But I'm not sure I'm not sure if I want to pick it up or not. Ninjutsu clone is really cool. Uh it's the same thing kind of as Ninjutsu Stomp. It has kind of the same the same kind of motions to trigger it, but they're slightly different, and they're both really cool. Let's see here. Suicide Fall, not Suicide Fall, Ghost Greeting is the one we didn't look at. But, I mean, it's cool, but it's not exactly the most important thing. I kind of want to get it because I do do a lot of sprinting from enemy to enemy. And I think we will have enough skills. 
ninjutsu shackles. It's a cool attack, but I don't think I need it now. Boss slaughter is also cool. And so I think I'm going to pick up... It's hard. I think I'm going to pick up ghost grading. So that gives us 20 points left. I think I'm going to pick up this because it's only four. Can I get bolt? No. I can only get one of these. Hmm. I think I'm going to get the boss slaughter. Maybe not the smartest choice, but that's the one that I'm going to pick up for my character. Like always, we can always reset our skills. It's not that big of a deal, but we'll see. That's nice. I really like that. It helps you move from mob to mob. It has a little bit longer of a cooldown than I would have expected. Where does it want me to go to fight these things? But it's still a pretty good skill. So we're going to be farming these guys for a little bit. Um, I do I do really like... Okay, can we not put that? I really like um, this farm spot. Just this farm spot right here. So we get 10 minutes of this. So we're going to farm for the full 10 minutes. And I, real, I do really like this area. Ooh, okay, that attack is a little different than I thought when I previewed it. But that's still really nice. But I've started to really like the flow of combat for this guy a lot more as I've played. We can try that. Eh. That skill is so weird. I don't know if I like that skill or not. I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm, I'm not sure I like it, but obviously there's always a chance that I change my mind the more I use it. But... Initial impressions, I don't know. That's a weird attack. It kind of takes too long. I'll kill these guys and I'll try it again on a big mob. Okay, I like that one. That one's good. What's the... What's it? That's nice. I like that. I gotta remember all the combos. Can I back, back it up? There we go. I did it there. Eh, that's not bad. That's not bad, but it needs to actually kill him because it's, it has kind of a decently long wind up there. And so if it doesn't, if you don't get that like one shot on an enemy, that attack's kind of trash. Is the issue. I like the attack, but if you don't get the one shot there, it's kind of garbage. Because you could have just been hitting them anyway, and so it's kind of a little questionable. I don't really know if I have to go all the way around here. This is just how I've always done it. Kind of run around the outside here. And then when you get back to the starting area. For the main farm, it sh everybody should be respawned. This wastes a little bit of time, but, but not too much. But pretty much this is the attack right here. The the explosive forward attack. That's the one that I've been doing the most. And the side slashes. Because I do the side slashes on all of my characters. Because I like it for the movement. It allows you to move around. And kind of stay out of out of the way. If that dashed you farther forward. I would like it a little bit more. Because I think. If it dashed you farther forward. You could use it for movement from one area to the next and like go into the next mob pack um dealing damage which is some of the issues that you know i can't tell that attack is really cool and, it, and it's fairly quick and it hits a lot of enemies so i think i like it i, I still can't quite tell To make a final decision on that soon enough. I'll probably in the next video reset the skills, uh, maybe, with what and redo some of the stuff that I don't like. Because obviously, play this enough, you'll figure out what you don't like, what you do, and what you don't use. It's always hard on these early game enemies to find out what you want to use and if you like it and whatnot because 
just simply because you're one-shotting or two-shotting, three-shotting at most some people, so it's hard to get real invested in skills. But, like, some of the skills I know I like. Wish it, was, it wasn't doing my attack. It was doing my input of the back, but... Because I move a lot, so sometimes I mess up my combos. That's why I have a lot of them hot-barred on my Sorceress. Is because I'm moving the uh, left stick constantly. I move the left stick uh, probably way more than I should. It's just kind of habit from all my years of playing, like, first-person shooters and stuff. And, like, I don't know. I might edit. I probably won't edit in a clip of Call of Duty. Just, But for purposes of example, where is... I need the soldier. Is he over here? This is the other area you can go to. I, I usually ignore this, but um, come over here so I can kill you. When I play Call of Duty, so if this is the stick... Let me, let me make sure it's... Okay. A lot of the time when I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm moving it back and forth when I aim around corners and stuff like that. And just and just when I'm waiting for someone, I move it back and forth. So it's kind of just a habit that I've formed is just to be moving that stick back and forth instead of, you know, being stable, I guess. Since I don't really stay stable and i don't know it's just a habit because i play and i do it in other first person shooters even if they're single player so like i i'm redoing a playthrough on bioshock infinite because i bought an elizabeth collectible which i'll open up on the channel and show you guys i bought a a statue it's like a i think it's a one four scale statue but it made me want to play the game again but i do it in that too when i peek corners on hard difficulties and stuff like that it's just how i play it makes you harder to hit it doesn't really make you harder to hit in single-player games, but it makes you harder to hit in, like, the scheme of everything. Okay, let me make sure I have this quest selected, because I, I do want to complete this quest. But yeah, that's kind of why, if, if I ever, like, just stunned a skill didn't get off, it's because I probably was flicking the stick. And it's just, like, subconscious at this point that I flick the stick the way I do. And I really don't want to stop it because I still play a lot of a lot of competitive. I don't know. Call of Duty's not really a competitive shooter, but it's just how I play shooters in general. And like when Gears of War comes out, I even do it in like Gears of War where it's not. It doesn't provide you a. Can I please hit this dude? Where it doesn't provide you a huge advantage, but it's still it's something. Okay. Hello. What? It wouldn't do it wouldn't do my skill there. I was like not moving either because now I'm subconsciously thinking about the fact that I do it but yeah so it's just kind of the way I I don't know it's just kind of the way I play and so it affects this game not a ton but you know a little bit you can I don't know it affects it a little bit. It wants me to talk to the stranded are they over here I think they're over here. Yeah, they're stuck in this building. Go up top and talk to them. Waste 30 seconds of my 100% XP. But yeah, that's just, you know. And you'll see me do it in this game every once in a while. Um, not a ton, but you'll see it a lot when I play this game. I'll, I'll just be, my character will be moving like this. Because I'm just so used to... I'm just so used to that. That's how that's how I play games. Because the only other MMORPGs I've played have been on PC. They haven't been on console. And my my fingers just always used to um, when I play like in Call of Duty and stuff. It's just used to pushing forward because I usually I don't know I don't sit around. I push probably to my own detriment, but I do. That's how I like to play, but, uh, yeah, so, my, my finger, I don't know, just muscle memory is so used to when I hold a controller moving forward in games that it sometimes messes up my skills for, like, this game. But I have my sorcerers, like, muscle memorized now that I don't actually have to really mess with that. 
Sorceresses is... She's a complex character to play, but the way I play her is kind of simple, so... It's kind of weird. I play a really difficult character skill gap-wise, like... Like, if you're a really good sorcerer, you're going to be way better than someone who's average using the sorcerer. Or sorceress, but... I don't play the sorceress probably the way that you should, so I end up playing an easier sorceress, probably. Okay, so now we need to go investigate the center, but we have 50 seconds more of this, so I want to kill some more enemies. You, can, you can't do attacks out of the sky with this guy, so that's really cool that I like. Kind of does that downward slash. But this is pretty much how I play this character. Against at least regular enemies like this. The bosses, I just spam them with that one attack that we... That I decided I really liked. I gotta get that back. This attack. <laughs> That's all I do to bosses. It's worked on every boss i fought so far. I think I've fought... Two without you guys? Two, maybe? And I'll probably end up fighting him without you guys because that's all I do. Because I get enjoyment. I get some stupid enjoyment out of that. But I'm pretty much just skipping all the dialogue in the cutscenes. I mean, I've seen this cutscene like a hundred times. So I'm going to skip that. I think, yeah, I think I've seen it like, I don't know. By the time I've watched people play the beginning of this game and then actually played it myself, I think I've seen that thing like... 15 20 times it's like a ridiculous amount so let's farm a little bit more and then we probably could call it a call it an episode i'm gonna do a few more of these so don't worry that this episode is short um i'm gonna do plenty more of these not plenty but I, i'm gonna do some because there is rewards for leveling this character up like in the last time and these rewards are a decent chunk better than before so i'm more inclined and it's only one character so i'm way more inclined to level him up than i was when we could, when we got the four new characters dropped at the same time which i kind of prefer the single drop to the four drop because now i can play the character test it out um, this will all end in a review, in my personal opinion, of the character from a PvE standpoint. You guys know, if you've watched my channel for long enough, that I'm not huge into PvP. At least yet. There may be a day where that comes where I do get heavily into it, but you never know. But uh, my point is, is that it'll come from a PvE mob clearing fun factor. Because really, if you're going to be grinding, you have to have fun with the character. Because if you're not having fun, grinding is just going to make you want to jump off a cliff. I mean, let's be honest. Think about grinding for like 400 hours on a character to not enjoy the character. Like, just think about that. You might as well just not play the game. But yeah, that's what I'm going to... That'll just It'll just be my personal opinion, obviously, but it'll give people something to go off of, I guess. And we'll discuss the skills. I don't know if I'm going to get him to, one, to 58. Because, like, my sorceress isn't even 58. So, let's be honest. What are the odds I'm going to get this dude to 58? But, there's a chance. Playing something different than my sorceress feels really nice. And he plays different enough than everything else that I've played. That this doesn't feel like the same experience again. I'm not doing these attacks enough. The new attacks I got. Okay, game. That attack is really good, and I need to use it more. I almost want to put it on the over on the on the D pad, right on the D pad, because I think I'd use it more. But it's kind of it feels like it'd be a little bit of waste. So this episode we did a bunch of farming. Not really, we didn't even farm that much, but. All we did was kill these Swamp Nagas. In the next episode, I'll actually do some advancing of the story and doing some of that stuff and fighting different enemies. Uh, we'll do more jump cut edits to different spots and different places. Um, completing quests and all sorts of different things in the next episode. Trying to make them a little bit different since I can edit videos now a little bit better. I, I want to do a little bit different episodes as we go. Um, 
just to, you know, add a little variety instead of just, oh, here we go, we're going to do some quests today, and here's, here we go with uh, a little bit of farming in this episode, and we're not going to edit any of this out, so enjoy watching me run across the map. Like, I, I think the the very beginning episodes of this that I did when I wasn't editing anything, I feel bad for you guys that watch those because, like, we weren't, I wasn't editing out any of the stuff of me running across the map. So if there was, like, ten minutes of running in an episode, yeah, get ready because you're watching ten minutes of me running across the map. And I had to fill that time with me, like, blabbling on, so it's much better and much more, I can make much more content filled episodes now instead of oh here's like t 10 minutes of me actually doing something here's 10 minutes of me turning in quests and here's 10 minutes of me walking around the playstation playthrough whenever i start well when i start that i'm gonna start it on launch day whatever day i don't know what day that is yet it's august 22nd but i don't know i haven't looked into it's august 22nd the the early access day, is that the day that if you have early access for the bundle on PlayStation that you get the game? Or is that early access the 20th? I don't actually know. I do need I need to figure that out. But it's not that big of a deal until that day comes. But in that, I'm going to record everything. But I will cut out all the running, all the stupid stuff that we don't need to see. I mean, you can always watch The Witch for almost the entire playthrough of the game. Because that's what I did. And you can watch every boss in my Sorceress playthrough, so... I don't know. And Lon, I have a bunch of Lon. You can see all the early game on my channel for sure. I will probably have a Sorceress video again soon. I've just been obviously focusing on this character right now because... It's new, something different. I can always grind my sorceress. Hello, game. Can I... Get unstunned, bro. Thank you. Alright, so let's get to level 30, and then I'll call it an episode. I don't want to use my 100% XP, because I want to use that in Glish. I'm hoping that's not the next episode, because I, I want to farm Glish. It's going to be the next episode. Crap. Maybe I'll get past Glish, because you guys have seen me farm that a hundred times. I did it in, like, every series that I played except my Sorceress. I think. So, yeah. we I won't show that. I'll skip that for the next video. And we'll go to what's after Glish, so that... Yeah, we're not doing the same content 500 times. This might take a little longer to get to 30 than I thought, because we're not getting that much experience from these guys anymore. I think these guys are usually good to like 27, so obviously I'm over level right now. And as you can see with me fighting, I don't really use the shurikens. They're kind of good for this, because you can throw a bunch of them. And they're like two shot kills. Some of them are one shot kills, and so... I mean, they're not bad, but this just is a really boring way to play. Like, just running around chucking shurikens at show. I mean, it's cool, but it's like one of those things, like, this is not how I want to play doing this all day. Like, look at that. It's, like, fun, but it's so bad. Okay. That's 64%. Alright, we're calling it at 75. I know I said it, we'd get that, but you guys have seen enough of this in this episode. You've seen enough of me using these new skills that we unlocked. Oh man, that skill is so nice. I just forget to use it because I'm not used to any attacks that are back on the D-pad. Or ba not back on the D-pad. Back on the left stick and, um, and LB. Because I don't think my sorceress has many LB attacks. I just don't think she does. And so I'm not used to it because... Obviously, I've invested the most time of any character I've played onto Sorceress. And I would think maybe... Uh, Monday's video? Mon Monday's video will have this character to 50 at least. 
Because it's Friday today. Yeah, probably. That's probably accurate. Monday's video will get this character to 50. And that's really, that's not like the end game, but that's where the like real gameplay begins. Once you beat the initial part of the campaign and you head west. That's kind of where it all, that's when the, the kind of real game, I guess, in my opinion, starts. This is all kind of setting the stage and filler and teaching you the ropes and all of that different stuff. I guess we're going to end up getting to 30 because I'm still talking. Um, and so I should be there. I think I'll only probably do two videos this weekend, to not, to not counting today's. Well, that would be a video every day, so... Who knows? But the level 50 video will be Tuesday, will definitely be out by Tuesday. So if you want to see later game stuff and not all of this early stuff, check back on Tuesday. I'll have that out then. By then. It might come out Monday, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. But I do want to have that out. I want to get there at least by then. And then it's kind of, eh, eh, eh. I'm fine getting to 55, but then the leveling after 55 is just a nightmare and a half. It's a literal nightmare and a half. And I actually wouldn't mind grinding Helms if I could transfer the stupid... I, if I can transfer Helms gear over, which I think I can in the storage... I'll probably farm Helms on this character because I need I need Asula's stuff for my Sorceress, so I have no problem farming Helms. So that'll probably be an episode, because I don't think I've ever shown you guys me farming Helms for a significant amount of time. Okay, we're going to level up here, and then, and then I'll call it an episode. I have no idea. I haven't looked at the time of this video, but I have a feeling it's longer than I was expecting. Okay, we're level 30. We'll end it off with that attack, and then I'll start auto-pathing to our next location. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Yeah, 27 minutes, a little bit longer than I thought. But that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. Check back. We'll be doing some questing and whatnot in the next episode. Hopefully have that out. I'm going to say I'm going to have it out tomorrow. Even if you see... I know I've been saying one video a day. Even if you see an AFK Arena video tomorrow still expect a black desert video as well i'll do the afk arena video first and then i'll do the black desert video shortly after probably like so if i release the black desert video tomorrow night at 10 the afk arena video will probably come out at seven or eight o'clock so just check back tomorrow at 10 p.m eastern time and i'll catch you guys later peace